All right, so and I wanted to make a quick video just uh, helping anyone who wants to get started with Visual Studio Code. Um, just go through a quick setup and a couple settings that I like to use when I use Visual Studio Code. Uh, first of all, Visual Studio Code is great software for developing anything with HTML or web-based languages at all. Um, in addition, it's great for um, developing with React Native, um, Ionic, uh, and many other um, languages uh, for, uh, and many other languages and kind of uh, projects that you want. Uh, it's a great free software. And so this link, which will be in the description, will take you to this page and then you can download it right here. Just pick your operating system and um, it's, it is uh, created by Microsoft, but they do make it for Mac, which is nice. And I'm on a Mac right now. Um, anyway, let me let me show you. So when you open it, after you do the installation, you're going to open it up and you're going to come to a screen that looks like this. I'll try to put the whole application in the uh, video window. So there we go. And um, just a couple quick things for getting up and running with this. Is you can click on new file. Um, but I would recommend before you start doing any programming that you do a file save as uh, because you're going to want to uh, tell Visual Studio the, uh, I'm just going to say my file.html. I'm going to make an HTML file. I could have gone for any uh, variety of file types, but um, you need to specify the file type because then uh, Visual Studio will do its uh, best to autocomplete your code based on the language that you're putting in there. And so, uh, which is really cool. And uh, one really cool thing with HTML, and I think it um, has some starter uh, packets for some other languages as well, but for HTML, you can just start putting in HTML and you could pick right here, HTML colon five, and you get this nice little starter code, which is pretty nifty. Um, I like that a lot actually. Um, and I'm going to mess this up a little bit only because I'm going to show you something else that I like. There is, uh, there are some extensions that you could use. Um, and I'll just show you real quick. If you go to code preferences, extensions, um, there's the one that's probably the most useful is called prettier. Um, you can click on that. I already have it installed, but if not, you would have to click install here. And then once you have that installed, um, you can see that I could just uh, do control, I'm sorry, option, shift, P, and see how nice it formats my uh, code nicely. So I really like that. Um, and uh, another, uh, so another extension that I use, there's usually just two that I like to put on, um, and it's material icon theme, which uh, like all these little icons that you're seeing here, or because I chose this theme, I like it. Um, it you know, it may not, it's totally not necessary, but I just kind of like the way it looks. Uh, one thing though, you may want to, if you don't choose to do this, you still might want to go into code preferences and take a look at color theme. Um, I think some of these are here because I have material theme icon, but you can choose uh, a variety of them and just kind of see which one you like. I happen to like the uh, the dark Visual Studio. Uh, that works well for me. Um, all right, so let me see. Oh, another um, feature that I think is super useful, I'm just kind of getting rid of. Uh, you see these side things here. This allows me to kind of toggle back and forth between my, see my files here. Um, there's this uh, option to open a folder. I find this extremely useful, especially if you have a decent sized project with a, a bunch of files and folders. If I hit open folder, I go and select. I happen to know that this is a kind of a folder I just made for this session. It only has two files in here, but you can imagine a, a whole bunch of files. If I hit OK, it's going to say save your current one because it's going to take me out of my current one. And now I have this folder here, which, you know, just imagine having a, t a bunch of different files. But the great thing is now they're super easily accessible and I can just kind of click and go back and I can get, it out of, get out of them there, but then just click on it to bring it right back. 
um, and go ahead and, and work on the file that I want to. Uh, that is very useful. There is, um, you can actually um, take this a step further and save this as a workspace. Uh, I'm not going to actually do this right now, but saving it as a workspace, um, I'll, I'll, I, I actually usually do this for most of my projects because um, I'm bringing this up just so you can see what uh, this is straight from Visual Studio Code's website explains what a workspace allows you to do. Some of the key things is you can configure settings that apply to that project. Um, there's certain debugging tools that you have for that. Um, you get to store and restore UI states. For instance, which documents did you have open? It'll make sure they were open when you open that workspace. Um, there's a lot of really cool features. I think it's probably, if you're gonna have a large project that you're working on, it's a good idea to create a workspace out of it and not just a folder. And then in the future, when you um, come back, let me see if I go, um, if I close out of this close folder, um, this is kind of your welcome screen. See, I have a, a workspace here that I could just open um, as opposed to here was my uh, folder. Um, so, they, you know, they're similar, but uh, you notice that the files that were open are not open. If I had opened the workspace, the files that were open would be open because um, uh, that persists across sessions, which is nice. Um, so that's cool. I, I'm actually, uh, I, I plan to have a follow-up to and include some more um, advanced um, features. Um, for instance, you know, you do have... Uh, terminal window which is really cool that's built right into here so you can run different commands just for your project it actually um, when you run a command in here it, it runs it in the folder that you're in which is super nice instead of having to open terminal and having to navigate to your folder um, so i'll go over some other features in a future tutorial uh, let me know if you found this helpful though and uh, if there are other features you're interested in learning about with um, visual studio thanks